Welcome back everyone. Last time on Soldier of Fortune, we built up our confidence. And now we're going to use that confidence in a subway as we start the actual game. Uh, quite a few difficulty levels to choose from, from effortless to unfair. Uh, unfair is quite right. Uh, difficulty levels adjust the following settings, the number of saves that you get. You can have, or well, you can choose to have limited saves per level. Uh, the type of spawning, enemy toughness, the carrying capacity, and cheats available. And we're going to choose custom because, well, why not? Uh, I want the number of saves to be unlimited, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, let's see, type of spawning... That, that sounds a bit ambiguous, doesn't it? Uh, what that does is... Hmm, remember the sound meter on our HUD that we learned about in the tutorial? When that goes to the red area and starts beeping, enemy reinforcements will start uh, warping in. And, well, you, you can have none, no enemy reinforcements at all, but if you set it to ridiculous, uh, there will be enemy reinforcements almost every little battle, simply because of the sounds that you're going to make while battling. So, this, I believe, affects both, uh, well, the type of spawning option, I believe, affects both the sensitivity of the sound meter and the amount of enemies that spawn when it, well, when it's in the red area. Uh, we're just going to leave that standard. We're going to leave the uh, enemy toughness at standard. You can go all the way up to bloodthirsty from non-threatening. Uh, carrying capacity is unlimited. I think that will be best for us. Uh, Mainly keeping in mind the final encounter of the game here. And, uh, well, cheese available on. I'm not going to use them, but just in case anything goes wrong. Uh, let's see. We're keeping the enemy toughness at standard because I feel that the game uh, steadily ramps up its difficulty. So, what's going to go on, eh? The game likes to put us in the middle of things. This isn't a military operation. I can't let you boys go down there. Doesn't sound like you have a choice, Captain. All right, you win. We don't know what these scumbags are up to down there, but we do know their leader's name. Saber! Saber, the plans fail! We Take can't... hostages! Whatever it takes, I want those explosives detonated! Kill Saber, you've killed the gang. Understood. John, take this entrance. I'll meet you at Station 6C. Good luck, Hawk. What a nice thing to say while you're running away from your pal. That was Hawk, John's best buddy ever. Hmm. So that Saber there seemed a bit bipolar, uh, telling his guys to take hostages and then... <laughs> and then... No one, huh? Well, just chewing a hostage in the face. It's not very nice, and... Ooh, uh... Taste buds in heaven! At the French house. Don't forget to pitch in. Uh, let's see, I think if I equip the pistol here... <laughs> yeah, you can spin that around. Uh, I had such fun on this level when I was little. Just shooting everything. You can... Well, you can destroy a lot of things. Yeah, that's right. Uh, some person's missing. I guess there's a movie called The City. There's also Sisters. 
And I don't know what that is. Uh, gotta shoot that. Well, I can shoot it. It's it's electrical. That's nice. Anyway, shall we carry on? It's poor guy, but uh, thanks for the armor. Th these are actually supposed to be SWAT members, not just policemen. But their actual uh, the actual name of them is SWAT. Dance National. Knock, knock. Mm. Oh. Okay. There, there are civilians down here, and it is best that we rescue as many as we can. Can I? No, I can't use them. Whoa. Didn't expect them to ring so loud. Oh, cola. Hold on. Ah, yeah, that's more like it. Uh, only a couple of cans, huh? Ah, yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, let's carry on. Hmm, let's see. Uh, in our inventory, we're also armed with uh, a flash pack and plastic. Yeah, we're taking plastic to the subway. Just because there are armed gang members inside, that uh, seems like a little overkill. We also have this knife here. <laughs> Uh, if it gets stained, we can clean it off. But anyway, uh, I, I remember what happens here. Let's see. Let's make supplies here. And... Oh. Sure. Nah. If you let these guys get to the door, then they actually uh, blow the handle off the door and try and enter it. I became adept at not letting them enter. Oh. That is indecent. Y you can't just... Like, it's unhygienic as well, just peeing out your trousers like that. Oh. oh. Had a good demonstration of the gore yet. <laughs> uh, I know there's someone, at least someone out there who's never seen this game in action before. But I must say, another thing about this game is that the environments look great. They they look they look quite realistic and they use realistic colours as well. And the the ambience is excellent as well. Oh. Be nice. Sorry, I had to see that. Hold on. Ah. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have looked at that. At least it's quick, right? At least it's quick. And... Ugh. Busted his intestines out. Uh, anyway, lucky us, we don't... We haven't taken much damage yet. Oh. Okay. Don't know how we were supposed to react to that before he blasted this open. Oh well. Another civilian rescued and hey there, it's a camera. Oh, that's right. I actually forgot. There's a, there's a monitor in here that we can use. It shows that camera right there. It's also bulletproof. Oh, imagine that. Those things aren't. How's that? Dynamic lighting, eh? Dynamic lighting. Oh. Don't want to risk shooting that civilian. We, uh, we do have a margin of error. I, I think we, we can get away with killing one civilian, but well, <laughs> better not to. Okay, there are guys in there just waiting for us. Uh, oh, we, we do have a grenade. Let's run up and try and use that, shall we? Er. Ah. Okay, the pistol wasn't so accurate there, and all we succeeded in doing was blowing up the corpse of that SWAT guy. It's a shame. Okay, there's a ticket booth here. Let's crawl inside. 
Always an emergency medical station if we need it. Oh. Oi. Ah, oh, good. The civilian's okay. Uh, we shot the gun out of the hand of that guy for a moment there. They will surrender if we manage to shoot the gun out of their hands. Maybe I should try doing that. Let's... John, you read? Go ahead. NYPD has a large group surrounded near station oh, 6C. Hands up. Roger. Okay, it sounds like Hawk is uh, making progress at station 6C. Okay, and it just loops around here. So we'll go back to the door we opened and try to act mercifully. Depends on if he'll let us. No, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. D did you just see a red cross here? Like, there. Aha, uh -huh, I know. How about... Aha, uh -huh, we got that guy, though. Nope. Are, are you twins or something? Like... I'm pretty sure that's at least the third guy in the white vest. Let's get out of here. Yeah, you like you, you should have thought let's get out of here when you heard gunfire and a grenade explosion, mate. Come on. Oh. Anyone going to come down? Or come up, rather. Yeah, that control's busted. What a shame. Oh, ah, there you are. You decide to come up after all. More uh, emerg emergency medical kits there. We don't need them yet. No! Oi, that was not very nice. That was doubly not very nice. Hold on, there's a guy around the corner, I remember. Like... Wait, hold on, hold on. Does anyone want to explain? Does anyone want to explain how that guy got behind the train? Huh? How did that guy get behind the train? That's... I don't know. These guys, they don't care for safety at all. I would say they don't even... They don't... Hold on. Did we pick up, because I know there's, yeah, we picked up uh, night vision from that SWAT. It's as you say. I O I, I O I O I O. I didn't know, I didn't know they worked on this game. Anyway, we can activate night vision and uh, select another item while we're at it. Oh. You just killed that bum. Come on, come on, come on, look at you. You deserved that. Now, I'm going to turn night vision off because it's kind of annoying and we don't actually need it to see properly. Ah, I remember that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that train's just going to go ahead and... Did it explode or something? It made it sound like it was going to explode. It exploded. Or maybe that was just an earthquake or someone else's explosion. So, oh. Oh. There you go. Now, why don't you tell all your buddies about how merciful I am? I just did. It's okay. Maybe you can become best friends with that guy over there, huh? Because there won't be any more buddies left for Stop you afterwards. Police. Yeah, you try to jump, I'll get you midair. No problem, no problem. Uh, I must say, this game definitely got uh, shotguns right. At least this shotgun in particular. John is safe. Get him. Is it? Well, the SWAT don't need any help here. Look, they're merciful. It's like SWAT 4. 
<laughs> okay, yes, the train starts as we jump on, and several thugs appear on their own train. We're rivals now. Huh. And we just stop. Chase that train. Oh. Come on, John, stop talking to us while running away. Also, thank you, game. We apparently earn cash, but I don't think that has any... I'll keep quiet for now. <laughs> and that was our very brief briefing for the next level, which is even shorter than the first one. But hey, it's a train level, and train levels are lovely. So, I was going to say, uh, we earned cash, apparently, you could see in the end mission stats while while the game was loading, but I don't think that actually has any bearing on a gameplay. I perhaps they originally intended for you to be able to buy weapons, but a little later on we'll just be able to select them as we wish. So next time, well, we'll find we'll find a nuclear warhead on a train, I guess and somehow deal with a helicopter. And not with the mysterious dudes in black with heavy machine guns. No, sir. Hmm. You know, the, the game... the game's story, it just occurred to me, it sounds a bit like a, the plot of a movie, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, next time everyone. Bye-bye.